What's up guys? This is the Yeba Pro V7. It's a native 1080p projector with upscaling 4K capabilities. It also has capabilities of 360 degree stereo surround sound. And finally, it can project up to a maximum of 350 inches. That's the highest I've seen on any projector that I've reviewed. If you're lucky enough to have 350 inch screen in your house, first of all, congratulations. And second of all, this will be the perfect projector for you. The optimal projection size is around 120 inches, which is what I will be demoing my video in this video as well. So finally, it comes in just under 190 pounds, I have a discount code for you guys in the description as well, so you guys can get it a little bit cheaper than everyone else. So take a look down below if you are interested in buying this. And finally, there's three main reasons why I was very interested in reviewing this projector, because I've reviewed a lot of projectors in the past, but this has some capabilities that I've not seen in some of my other projectors that I have been looking for. And I will mention that straight after the unboxing. So let's go ahead, unpack this, run through some of the standout features of this, give you a demo on my 120 inch screen and let's get straight into it. Now right off the bat you can tell this is going to be a very premium projector based on the size and weight of this thing. It's pretty big and it is pretty heavy so that gives me confidence that you know this is a very top quality projector. Right, let's just quickly go through some of the buttons. So on the top, you have yourself the power button, the back button, many directional buttons. Then there's an OK and 6D button there, which I'll explain in a second. On the back, you have plenty of options. You have two HDMI ports, two USB ports, a headphone jack and an AV port. Now in terms of the remote control, it's pretty standard. All of the basic functions that you expect. The one thing I'm going to showcase and highlight to you is this 6D button. So we'll come back to that in a second. Now, as I was mentioning before, there's three main reasons why I was very interested in reviewing this projector specifically. Reason number one, this is the first 1080p projector that I've seen that has automatic 6D keystone correction. There's a lot of them with 4D keystone corrections out there and I've reviewed plenty of them as well myself. Just having that convenience of positioning your projector anywhere you like at, at any angle as well. So it could be sideways, you can pace it up, down, left, right. You literally just place it in whatever convenient position you want to for your projection screen. Press the 6D button on the remote, it will automatically make it look very straight. And I will be showcasing this as an example as well when we move upstairs to my projector screen. Reason number two is the brightness levels of this. I've struggled a little bit in the past with the brightness levels on a lot of the projectors because most of them on average max out around 7,000 lumens. And I'm talking about just the affordable projectors, you know, the ones that are less than 250 pounds. This one goes up to 9,000 lumens of brightness, which is around 25% brighter than most of the other projectors that you may find on Amazon. This is very important, especially if you have other light sources in the room coming from maybe the windows or bedside table lamps or anything like that. So you can pretty much be sure that you'll always get a very clear picture and it will be very bright and not faded, not shaded out a little bit, and it'll be super clear in terms of how much clarity this provides from its brightness in the bulb. Not only that, it houses a 12,000 to one contrast ratio, giving you a very clear picture clarity. And reason number three, it has Wi-Fi dual band working in there, so it can operate in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies, and it also has Bluetooth 5.0, so it gives you faster transmission with extremely low latency, which is very important if you are wirelessly streaming content to this, maybe through some of the on-demand services like Netflix. So based on all those three things, I'm going to move upstairs and give you a full demo of two things, the video quality and also the sound quality of the stereo speakers in this. So let's go ahead, move upstairs and give you guys a performance review. Now, the projector doesn't have any inbuilt apps, so you'd have to connect your devices either through HDMI or USB, which I tend to do myself anyway. As you can see, I've connected my Apple TV. As you can see from the main screen, you have plenty of options to connect to the projector. You can screen mirror from your iOS or Android devices. Like I mentioned, you have two HDMI ports, two USB ports, and an AV connection. If you connect a USB, you can play back movie or video files, music files, photos, and text or documents. Here's just a quick browse through the settings page where you'll find all of the main settings and controls you'd expect from a projector. But it's also worth noting that the projector utilizes something called the BASIC Smart Engine, which is an acronym for brightness, 
abundant color, sound effects, immersive display and clarity, which is a projection tech developed by Yeba that aims to give the best audio visual experience that can be obtained from those five categories. But I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to read up on more information about this. For the 6D function, you can either press the 6D button on the remote control or on the projector itself like I was showing earlier. Once you select it, it gives you the flexibility to position or angle the projector however you like, knowing that the screen will automatically get adjusted for the best viewing experience but you'll always have the option to manually tweak the automatic adjustments if needed. So let's move on to two demos. The first will focus on the video picture quality, showcasing a variety of low and high contrast levels and colors, whilst the second one I'll play is to focus more on the 360 degree surround sound audio experience. Finally, just remember that the video and audio quality that you see is purely based on how you're watching this video in terms of the size and resolution of your screen and whether you're using headphones or other speakers. So how I record it through my camera and how you see and hear it will be two different things, but it should give you a good enough idea of the quality of the projector, especially in a darkened room. cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. thought was black isn't this is black this is contrast that reveals details deeper than any image you've seen on a screen this is luminance that means the difference between white and pure energy energy that is about to reveal an entire universe of color you've never experienced in the cinema.
Okay, so wrapping things up, honestly, for the video quality, I think the picture is so clear and bright. Even with an additional light source in my room coming from my bedside table, it was giving me a very clear picture that provided a very good home cinema experience. So for me, you know, this is probably gonna be my favorite projector to use in any circumstances. Secondly, the sound quality was clear enough that it didn't warrant me to use either an external soundbar or my Bluetooth headphones that I usually tend to do with my projectors. And that was even clear enough sitting from around maybe five meters away from the projector. So at a distance, you can still get very good sound quality. If you are in a large room, then you wouldn't have to worry about setting this up with any other external speakers. So putting all of these things together, along with the vast amount of features that are inbuilt into this, I think it's a very valuable projector to get for the price that you pay. The links, the discount codes, the pricing information, everything you need to know is in the description. If you did find this useful, then make sure you to give this video a huge like. I do plenty of projector reviews and I'm gonna do a lot more in the future and I have new tech videos out every week. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. If you have any questions, comments or feedbacks on this projector, drop a comment, I'll give it to you as soon as I can and I'll see you guys at the next one. Take care.